Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the North Wilkesboro Speedway for the North Wilkesboro 80. This is going to be race number 32 in the More Freedom Series, season four. And with only five races left to go to finish out the year, points are very close. So let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Seventh will be the 72 of Duchess. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Let's take a look at those team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports still leads the way with MBR in second. Amish Buggy Racing third. Aces to Zed Motorsports fourth. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points. It is the last five races of the year. I'm very excited. The crowd is already in the speedway. So I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up, let's quickly go through your top starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, and on her outside, the 90, 96 is of Nico. Starting third will be the double zero of Mudbone, and on his outside, the 666 of Pistol Pete. Starting fifth will be the 11 of TC Roberts, and on his outside, the 211 of Hogs. Starting seventh will be the 20 of Adam B5000, and on his outside, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Starting ninth will be the 13 of King of the Aces, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 203 of Signs. So quickly through that starting top 10 there, Ice Cream Some Days is going to be leading us down to take the green flag today. She is looking for win number three here this season. Road course expert this year, won, both of, won two of them. She's bringing us down. The green flag is out. We're underway here at North Wilkesboro. Mudbone was already trying to push down to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. He uh, needs to lead a lap. He doesn't actually need to lead a lap. He is quite a ways ahead. He's almost 200 points ahead of Adam B5000, but Ice Cream some days is going to be the leader on lap number one here at North Wilkesboro. She's going to try to lead as many laps as she can. She currently runs 22nd in points again, looking for a win number three this season. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on the left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. I believe she's won two races this season, so she is looking for win number three. I'm thinking in my head, but let's jump through the field. Mudbone has now worked his way into the second position, which is very, very good for him as we finish off this year. So if he can continue here in the second position, possibly get another win here which would be, I believe, win number six of his of the season. That could almost just knock out the competition. The 20 of Adam B5000, his closest competitor, has now worked himself into the fourth position. So Adam started seventh, has now worked his way up to the fourth position as we got three wide right now between the 211 of Hogs, the, the 666 of Pistol Pete's, and the 11 of TC Roberts precariously in front of the 88 of NM right here. So Hogs is dropping it down and pushing his way in as he gets around the 666 of Pistol Pete. Here comes the 88 of NM as well. So that high line, again, not the, not the best line here at North Wilkesboro, but NM is now working his way underneath the 666 of Pistol Pete. NM currently on the outside of the top 10 in points as he currently runs in the 11th position, tied for 11th with the eight of Moon Bunny, who has four race wins on the season. Moon Bunny has had an epic rise to the front of this field this year, or not this year, in like the last three or four races. She currently runs back in 26. We'll see if she can change that over the course of this 80 laps here today. Um, So yeah, Ice Cream still leads the way here. She has led all seven laps so far. Again, I think she's going to try. She wants to lead, I would guess, every single lap, you know.
So let's jump back through this field. Again, Adam B5000 uh, desperately needs to get up and around the double zero of Mudbone. The 96 of Nico is standing in his way. Uh, Nico had a rough go, was it last week, where he, you know, the story with his pit crew is just, it is not the best. And I know MBR is very disappointed with their performance over the last couple seasons. So I'm sure that, you know, in his mind, you got to think, oh, now I've got to deal with, I started on the outside pole. I need to, I want to win this year. And he hasn't won since season three or season two when he won the championship. So I know he desperately wants a win and he's been starting up here at the front, but his pit crew just being so awful has just cost him races. As we see the 211 of Hogs, he did make it up to the sixth position with NM followed him right along into the seventh position. That put the, eight, uh, the 666 of Pistol Beat back to eighth where he started in the fourth position. So the 799 of Mike Check started 13th and he's working his way up. But you see the 777 of Seabass who currently runs a 10th for Amish Buggy Racing. So Seabass and you got Seabass, Pistol Pete, and the double zero of Mudbone. They are trying their best to get Amish Buggy up there to play with the rest of the the top two, MBR and Douche Motorsports. So Douche Motorsports and MBR both have six drivers. Amish Buggy Racing only has five, and they have just really on the back of the double zero of Mudbone's wins this season have really kept them in the top the top four, top five, and we're going to see if they're able to win the championship, the points championship for the team. They're currently 150 points back, so a remote possibility, but I think it's really just a battle between MBR and Douche Motorsports at this point. Ice Cream Someday still leads away here at North Wilkesboro. Last week's winner, the 8 of Moon Bunny, has fallen all the way back to the back of the pack back here. He's bat she's battling with the 49 of Jetman and the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. We're going to see if pit stops are able to change a lot of that for him as Jetman, def Jetman and JTM definitely need better runs than this to keep them in the points hunt. Uh, JTM, if he does not move up, he's definitely going to need several wins, <laughs> possibly two or three wins here to finish out the year as he did slide a little bit. You saw that slide by the 25 of JTM as the three of Geek Girl Games got a little squirrely there. I don't know if she got in contact with the 23 of Fuller Than You or what happened, but she I thought she was going into the outside pit wall there. I really thought it was pit stop time, and then she w w swung back onto the track, so she almost into that pit wall. See, the 95 of Zed Brun is slipping back here. Zed started, he started 32nd. He's now in the 19th position. So, I mean, not bad, but he has fallen to position back there to the 29 and the 51. Keep jumping up through this field, see what's going on. There's 10th place, 10th place car, stills the 777 of Seabass. Seabass, who has moved up from the last place in points. He's currently running 28th now, or 28th now. I do want to highlight, if I can find him real fast, the 999 of Deviant, again, story of the year, missed the first four races of the year, is now 19th in the points. And he's actually only about 600 points back from Mudbone. So if he was able to start the season, I mean, you just say, you know, potentially another 400 points he would that's a solid top 10 that's almost second place in the points so i mean next season looking good already for the 999 of deviant if he returns to the drop bear racing team we see adam b5000 now to the back bumper of the 96 of nico so nico is going to be fighting to stay in the third position right here as the double zero of Mudbone and the three, five, six of Ice Cream some days are about one and a half seconds up on the 96 and the rest of the pack here. Nico again, outside pole sitter here at North Wilkesboro is in, 
I mean, if he get if they get around him, it could be he could lose like four or five spots here as he'd be stuck on the outside. So Nick, I'm not sure if he has just a bad set of tires or what's going on with the Marble Dodge for MBR here today. As we saw Adam slide up a little bit, that allows the 13 and King of the Aces to work to the back bumper of that 20. So we got about five cars lined up nose to tail right now as the 666 and the 799 starting to catch up. No real draft here at North Wilkesboro. I mean, you're, you're going to get a little bit, but not enough to cause you to make a huge move on someone. As we do see, I thought the 211 right there was going to try to get down to the inside of the 13. NM, ooh, NM, just to get a little bit, almost a little bit of a bump right here on this 211 of Hogs. He's right to his back bumper. So Hogs has the 88 of NM knocking on the back door right here. He's probably got a ring camera in that back bumper, able to see him knocking on the door. We'll check in on your leaders. So Mudbone has knocked about a tenth of a second off of this lead by the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, who has now led 29 of the 80 laps here today. So again, she is working on, I believe, win number three this season uh, here in the More Freedom Series. So yes, yeah, she is working on win number three. Those first two wins were on road courses. She won at, I believe, Sonoma and the Charlotte Roval. I believe those were her two wins. Yeah, the Charlotte Roval and she won at Sonoma. So those are her two wins so far this season. Looking for a short track victory here for G3 Motorsports. She is, I don't know if she's carried the team, but she's definitely been... She's definitely the only one that's won this season for G3 Motorsports. So we do check in on the 13 and King of the Aces. Has the 211 of Hogs knocking on the door for him now. So Hogs looks like he was about to get to the inside of the 13 and King of the Aces as now the 666 of Pistol Pete and the 799 of Mike Check have caught up. Pistol Pete, who still runs last place in points right now, but he's had a good couple races the last two weeks. We're going to see if he can continue it here today. Catch up to your leader, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days for G3 Motorsports, driving that Publix Nine Lives Cat Food Chevy. Again, 22nd in points for so far this season and i mean several dnfs you know getting involved in the accidents and whatnot actually i believe she has five dnfs on the year with three poles so that's a that is a rough that's a rough go and imagine without those dnfs what her position in the points could be because you know three possible two wins is, is really good three wins is even better as we see the 20 of adam b5000 is still trying to work around the 96 of nico i'm not sure if nico is going to lay down the hammer here or not they've lost about another second to the leaders and i'm not sure if nico is the problem or if the leaders are just that fast right now but I'm sure that the 20 of Adam B5000, who desperately needs a race win here at the end of the year to try to get to Mudbone, is yelling in his car for the 96 to get out of the way. I'm surprised there hasn't been a little bit of the chrome horn given to that 96's bumper here. Adam's more of a gentleman racer here in the ser series, so I wouldn't say, oh, he, I think he's thinking about it. You saw him just kind of get down to the inside. Ooh, try to get to that back bumper. Maybe give him a little bit of a bump there. Get him a little bit loose. Get him out of the way. As Mudbone knocks about another tenth of a second off of that lead by the 356 of Ice Cream some days, so he is ever so slightly closing in here. Ice Cream 
First pit stop of the day for the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days here on lap number 40. It looks like Mudbone may be your leader at halfway. So he may get those five extra bonus points. I'm trying to catch back up to Ice Cream. Adam is in. Ice Cream is in. So we're going to see what the 356 does here. As she pulls into her pits right here at the end of pit road, she has right side tires going on to that public Chevy for G3 Motorsports. Looks like it's going to be a four tire change fuel going in. So left side tires getting ready to go on to that 356. Fuel still going in. She is down and she is away. So the public Chevy is heading back out onto the track. We're going to see that should put her to the end of this into this race i believe that mudbone will have led at halfway so we see the 20 of adam b5000 may have made up a little bit of a oh look at this pit road going crazy right now jump up here and see there's the double zero of mudbone he's got left side tires already going on left side tires going on for the 96 of nico Mudbone down and away. Nico is down and away. 13 of King of the Aces is coming out. So it looks like Adam's going to move into the sec third position here. So fairly decent pit stop for the 96 of Nico. I think Adam just had a better stop there. But the 799 of Mike Check and the 999 of Deviant, they might be the big winners here as... NM working back out onto the track here as we see the triple seven of Seabass, the 10 of Scooter there. I mean, possibly the three, no, G3 might be a lap down here. I'm trying to catch up to the three, five, six. So we'll wait for all of the timing and scoring to update here as we, she crosses the line. And she definitely has already led, I think, the most laps here today. So the question is, <clears throat> she pitted on lap 39, and can she make it all the way on one stop? Or is she going to have to come in for an additional stop here today? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I think all of our timing and scoring is officially updated. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 356 of Ice Cream Someday. Second's going to be the double zero of Mudbone. Third will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fourth will be the 96 of Nico. Fifth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Eighth will be the 999 of Deviant. Ninth will be the 88 of NM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the triple seven of Seabass. So Seabass stays in the same position. I think NM lost a couple. Your big winners after those pit stops have to be considered to be the 999 of Deviants and the 799 of Mike Check. So Mike started in the 13th position, now running 6th. And the 999 of Deviant started 16th, now running in the uh, 7th position. So I think those two cars for the Drop Bear Racing Team have definitely, that was a big improvement over where they were before but our big question for the end of this race is does the double zero of mudbone and the 20 of adam b5000 have anything for this 356 of ice cream some days ice cream has worked up to a 2.1 second lead over the double zero of mudbone so it's a possibility that she could run away with this here at the end. And actually, Mudbone is knocking off a little bit of that time. So Mudbone is slowly creeping in per lap here. Let's jump through the, let's go through the back of the field. KFB still running back here in the back. Resemble must have had a very, very bad pit stop, as well as the three of Geek Girl Games. So G3 actually went a lap down during those pit stops and resemble very very far fall, has fallen very far back here he actually started in the 11th position today has fallen back to 32nd 25 at jtm is going to lose his streak of top 15s i think here today 
as he is way back here in 28th. He started 20th on the day, so he has lost a few positions as well. And um, the eight of Moon Bunny, I don't think is going to win her third race in a row as she is way, way back here as well. Big loser on that pit stop was the 666 of Pistol Pete. So Pistol Pete went into the pits in the top 10, came out of the pits in 24th. So very, very, very bad pit stop for the 666 of Pistol Pete and that Amish buggy racing team. As we see the 88 of NM right to the back bumper of the 999 of Deviant right now. So NM is trying to work up another position here. Deviant is trying to hold him off. And short track racing is very hard to pass on as I'm just checking on your timing and scoring. And Mudbone has now knocked off basically seven tenths of a second off the lead of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. We're going to see if NM decides that he's actually going to try to make a pass here on the 999 of Deviant. This is a battle on the track for the seventh position. Oh, it looks like the 777 of Seabass is going to be the one trying to make the pass here. Not able to do it right there is that 777 of Seabass. King of the Aces thinking about it as well. So the double zero of Mudbone is on a tear right now. He has, with 20 laps to go here at North Wilkesboro, maybe about 21, I would say, 21 laps to go here at North Wilkesboro, the double zero of Mudbone has absolutely driven the wheels off of that car, has, is knocking about two-tenths of a second per lap off of the times of the 356 of ice cream some days and i it's going to be a battle right here at the end of this race we're going to see if he wore out those tires or if he has anything left to try to pass the 356 of ice cream some days he already has 10 bonus points uh i believe he will have led it halfway and he'll get five bonus points for the uh for leading a lap, Ice Cream is going to have led a lap, led the most laps, and start on the pole. So she's in line for 15 bonus points right now. Not that that affects Mudbone, as he is currently 400 points up on, actually almost 500 points up on the 356 of Ice Cream some days. But you can see him now into the picture here at North Wilkesboro. He is trying to put a cap on this season. He is trying to win race number six this year. He is now almost right to the back bumper of that 356 of ice cream some days. So let's jump back here real fast, see what's going on back here. Basically the same throughout the top 10. The double zero of Mudbone has now caught up to the 356 of Ice Cream some days. He is desperately, he is going to try to make a win, another win, another win. He's going to try to just absolutely crush the competition for the rest of the season. He is right to the back bumper here of the 356. He is putting the pressure on the 356 of Ice Cream some days. I think he, I thought he was thinking about it right there into turn one. Not quite yet. He is right there. Just you can feel the pressure on the 356 as we work these last 14 laps here in the Mort Freedom Series. What's turning out to be an amazing end to this North, North Wilkesboro 80 the 356 of Ice Cream some days is desperately trying to hold off the points leader, the double zero of Mudbone. She's trying to get win number three. He's trying for win number six to continue this record setting win season. Lap after lap, we're battling here. A little bit squirrely there into turn one by that double zero of Mudbone. Let's see if he gets a run down the back stretch here.
He's working as hard as he can. He's working that wheel. Watching this battle. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days is holding off the double zero of Mudbone. And it is just, it is so tight. Checking in, the fastest lap of the day will be by the double zero of Mudbone at 118.756 miles per hour, 18.935 seconds. As comparison, they're running about seven tenths of a second slower right now. And uh, Mudbone getting a little bit squirrely off the turn there. This is just an intense battle between the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Your points lead to the double zero of Mudbone as he works to try to get win number six under his belt slid up there through one and two. Tires might be starting to go away. On the double zero of Mudbone. We're watching this battle with five laps to go. The double zero of Mudbone is trying everything he can right now to get around this 356 of ice cream some days. And he is battling and what's going to happen is, is that we see this, the 20 of Adam B5000 with this battling has now caught up to the double zero of Mudbone in that 356 of Ice Cream someday. So Ice Cream may be holding up the double zero of Mudbone, but that's allowed the 20 of Adam B5000 to catch up to the back here. So it could be a three-way battle for the lead here with just... Two or three laps to go here in the More Freedom Series. The 356 of Ice Cream someday still holding off this double zero of Mudbone. Looks like he is setting her up again here and into three and four. He is right to her back bumper. So we got two laps to go. I believe here at North Wilkesboro, Mudbone is right there on that back bumper. The 356 of Ice Cream some days as they head to the back stretch. Heading into three and four, he's sliding in just a little bit. We're gonna get the white flag off of three and four. The not, three, five, six of ice cream some days right there. She is in your lead as we continue, as we start the last lap. The double zero of Mudbone, he's got one more turn to go. Can he do it? He is gonna, no, he can't. He's gonna stay behind the three, five, six. And I think your winner today here at North Wilkesboro will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days with the points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, finishing second. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. She held off second place, the double zero of Mudbone. Third is going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fourth will be the 96 of Nico. Fifth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the 999 of Deviant. Eighth will be the 88 of NM. Ninth will be the 777 of Seabass. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 10 of Scooter. So awesome run and way to hold off the double zero of Mudbone as he's pushing for his championship. Doesn't get win number six here. But next week, we go to Phoenix for the Phoenix 50. It should be another amazing race here in the More Freedom Series. Let's check in on your current points. So I think Mudbone will extend by a little bit over Adam. Seeing those here on the screen. 
Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings. Might be a good day for MBR. A couple people in the top 10 here. Well, another race win for this 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. That's win number three this season. So congratulations to her in G3 Motorsports. We're going to pack it up. We're going to head to Phoenix for the Phoenix Fix 50 for next week. So, again, congratulations to the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. She is your winner here today for this North Wilkesboro 80. And until next week at Phoenix, take care. <laughs>